like a flat blade. Um, so like we can do an experiment. Okay. Hi, everybody who's here. Um, I'm sitting here yakking with Courtney. She's looking at the blades for her carving tool. Um, if we want, we can just like carve into an eraser so you can see what each blade will do. But um, that one you can cut like a straight line. And then this is like to carve out. Yeah. So um, let's see who's in chat. Hi, Janice. Pop out chat. We might have to change the lighting. It's making bad shadows. Might have to close that window. I hate to do that, but sometimes it work, works a little better. So How do you close it? Just pull down the shade. That'll work. Yeah, see if that's better. Sometimes turning off that helps. Hi, AJ. Hi, Felina. Yeah, that's going to work a little better for the lighting. Does that look better on your screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it is. It's kind of a little yellow. We'll put the focus you freak out here so it doesn't try and autofocus. Focus you freak. Hi, Vaughn. You'll be working along with your thing while you do your thing. Well, that's a great thing, Vaughn. What thing exactly are you working with? Sorry I missed your stream the other day, Vaughn. But it was just busy here getting ready for the kids. Hi, Jerry. Video bomb. Did what? Video bomb. Oh, Jamie's going to come in and do a video bomb on us. Say hi. The camera. Jamie. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you hear him? He growled. He's the homeless guy, remember? Oh, my God. Look at him. <laughs> That's my son, Jamie. <laughs> hi, Shauna. <laughs> and then Court, say hi to everybody. Hi. She's real talkative, this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get your work in progress done. I get that. Yeah. I actually, when I was cleaning a few weeks ago, all my work in progress that I hadn't done, um, I threw away. I thought if I haven't worked on them by now, I'm not going to finish them. Just throw them away. And I have to say, it felt really good. Hi, Anna. Can we see your butterfly page with Amy now that it's finished? Yes, you can. Thanks for asking. It's actually sitting right here. And I went ahead and glued some um, napkins in that same book. So um, here's the butterfly page that Amy and I did last week. And we used the um, Finnabar wax on it. And it smells so delicious. You just want to lick it, I swear. Um, hey, Judy. So that was that's the finished page. And I put the gold or the bronze actually around the edge to finish it. But mostly I did get it done. I might darken the lettering some. Um, so, yeah, that was the one. And then um, I just, since the book was out, I had just gone ahead and glued down um, more napkins and put the wax in the background over the book page. But I haven't finished it yet. I'll finish it at some point. I don't know. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Ann. So I love napkin pages. They're just, they're easy. They come out so darn pretty. Um, naturally, they're not your original art, but they just come out so pretty. And today, um, Courtney and I are going to be carving rubber stamps. Um if you were here for my Hobby Lobby haul, I don't know, maybe a week, week and a half ago, whenever it was, I bought that. Is he hand me that box cord? I bought the um, this lino cutter carving tool. Normally eleven bucks, I got it for two seventy five, and I knew Courtney was coming, so I was just like, oh, that's a cool project because she's a crafty girl. Um, so I thought, oh, cool, that's a cool project that Court and I could do. So. I just saved it for this stream so that she could stream with me. Hi, Mindy. So, yeah. And then I also got in that same trip, like, the speedball carving material and these that go with the carving tool, the circles. So we're going to actually carve a circle today. And um, I'm just 
kind of um, waiting for people to come in. So not starting anything yet. But while you're waiting, I'll show you. Shauna, close your eyes. Hi, Elaine. I think you met Elaine before, Court. She used to live across the street from Mary. Say hi to Elaine. Hi. <clears throat> anyway, last week I tweeted, those of you who follow me on Twitter saw that um, I got on, I don't know, I was looking for fountain pens because that's what Amy and I do constantly. Um, Jill said, shout out to Courtney. Hi, Jill. Hi. Not you, Jill. Is that really you? Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. The Jill 105 <laughs> is um, Jamie's girlfriend who I've met for the first time. And I don't mind saying out loud in front of everybody. I like I fell in total love. You got your paper duty. Awesome. Hi, by the way. Yeah. This is a good girl going on here. So, yeah. So look here, she wrote back, I love you back. So it's just like a love fest down here this week. It's a disgusting love fest going on. So anyway, I'm looking for um, fountain pens, which I was not necessarily in the market for, except that I always am in the market for a new fountain pen. And I saw this Muji one. And you guys know how much I love Muji anything. So I had to order it, and I don't remember what I paid for it. It was cheap. I mean, none of Muji's products are real expensive, but they're so nice. So I went ahead and ordered the Muji pen. Um, the the nib is really, really nice. Send the link. Okay, I'll have to um, I'll have to look it up. So on that whole order, I ordered the Muji pen, the universal converter, and this is what Shauna is going to really not need to look at. I did go ahead and get the Noodlers Lexi Lexington Gray ink. So this, the Lexington Gray ink has a lot of brown in it. Um, this ink that I got in here right now, because Amy naturally came running down to see the new pen and who wouldn't, of course. Um, this is Amy's Gray. And hers is more blue. But it writes so nice, you guys. For a cheap fountain pen, this is really nice. This is not a flex nib. So, Xander, if you're watching this, this is not a flex nib. And it, I, it only came in one nib size. So I'm kind of guessing that it's a medium nib on the fine side. Hi, Gary. Oh, support the rat's playtime. That's a good thing to do. You want both grays? Yeah. The Noodlers is, you know, you can you can never go wrong with Noodlers ink. And the cool thing about this, if you don't know, Noodlers black is permanent. I don't know about the gray. I have not tested it. So, um, yeah. Hi, Eileen. Courtney, say yes. something rude to Eileen. No. <laughs> You need all three. I know. But, Shauna, the good thing about that is it's not expensive. Hi, Kathy. Are you still over with your grandkids? So, yeah. So, I'm loving my new Muji and Noodler's Inc. And the only other thing I got that I think you guys haven't seen, I think I ordered this, honestly, when Shauna was at my house. And it just came the other day. Nope, that's the wrong book. Where'd my book go? Oh, is it this one? No, it's the... Oh, there it is. I moved it over there. Um, the calla lily that I painted a couple of streams ago um, came out of the a book by Carlin Holman. And I just... I told you guys, I totally love her style. Um, Elaine, I don't remember... I think it was Amazon. Oh, the seventh is going to be here before you know it, Shauna. Um, so I went ahead and ordered another Carlin Holman book, and I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. Um, and I'll do a quick flip for you guys. So if you're into watercolor books, this is a really nice one. But 
I just love her style. So look at that. It's just going to be big old fat boy eye candy. I'm going to move the camera up a little bit so you guys can see it. I'm going to spill my coffee if I'm not careful. And if I don't spill it, you probably will. So be careful. Here, that's better. Now you guys can see. Hi, Dorothy. Yeah, I do like the book, Shauna. It was a good recommendation. So in this case, even though I'm showing it, it's actually a Shauna enabling. Hi, Kimberly. Kimberly said, hey, Courtney. Hello. You have a pink pen with hope pink ink in it. Oh, I bet you do love Anna. All right, here we go. But I think these are just like really quick little watercolors, but they're just so well done. She obviously has uber talent going on here. But these ones with like the boxes in the background showing just pieces of the whole composition, there's something about that style that is so appealing to me. And she talks in this book how she was intimidated about doing people. And she gives an, a little bit in a little bit of instruction about just how to go about jumping in and getting it done, just doing it. So <clears throat> quick flip. And one thing she does say, and and I of course I'm such a professional is that the drawing is really where it all starts. So work on your drawing skills. Hi, Curly T. If you want us to call you something else, Curly, I'm just going to call you Curly. Hey, Scooby. You just got back from Hobby Lobby. Did you find good deals, Scoob? Hi, Joan. Courtney's over here making a lot of noise. But look at these. They're just... Uh, this is like where I want to be. Poor Eileen is just going, oh, no, not more watercolor. That's a cool sketch right there. Love that. This is really dark, but it's really pretty. I don't know how it's showing on camera. Well, the glare is definitely not going to be good. Let's see if we can eliminate that. You good with curly? Curly it is. And I got this book used. It's in perfect condition. So don't be afraid to look at the used books on Amazon. You can get a really good deal. Like I, I know I paid less than 12 bucks for this book, including shipping. Oh, it's your real life nickname. Well, that's cool then. Looks like Italy. I like that too. The sky, the light sky in the background. Yeah, this is really a good book. So if she has more, which I don't know, I may very well be ordering more of her books if I can get them used cheaply. Hi, Kia. Oh, look at that. And the hollyhocks. Someday, someday. You're going to own them all, then chances are I am going to too, Shauna. And Eileen's going, this book is great to cut up. <laughs> You're such a dork. Someday I'll be confident enough. That must have been a bookmark for something. Look at more calla lilies. I love calla lilies. And actually, I got looking through some of my photographs. It's amazing how often I have used calla lily as um, a reference. Found the calligraphic drawing books and Fabriano books and the paint pens. Yay, you, Skip, Scooby. I probably have the drawing book. I don't know. Courtney and I may have to drive up there tomorrow. Do you want to go craft shopping tomorrow, Courtney? Sure. Sure. See, she's so easy. And we'll go eat at Chick-fil-A. And we'll let the other losers stay here and work.
Well, <laughs> unless Jill wants to go with us. If Jill wants to go, we'll take her. My dog's too much of a loser. Yeah, we don't. Oh, there's a name of somebody. Might have been her book. Well, is fine versus medium nib better? Um, not necessarily, Elaine. Uh, a medium nib flows more ink, obviously, and has less tendency to want to scratch. Um, so I think it's just your style, what you like better. I like a fine nib because I use the lettering guides a lot, right? So the fine nib tends to work better with a lettering guide. Um, but for just writing in a journal, if you're just going to sit and write, I would say a medium nib is going to flow a little bit better. So, yeah. Look at that. That's weaving. No wonder I would be drawn to that because I love weaving paper. That is really cool. Make your own watercolor papers and weave it. That might be an upcoming project, boys and girls. Yeah, and fine for sketching, for sure, Shauna. And if you're going to use it for sketching, you know, like on top of watercolor or something like that, you definitely want a permanent ink. That's why I try and point out which inks are permanent. Hi, Jersey. Um, yeah, the weaving is very cool, isn't it? Yeah, I love that. So, And I've done notebooks um, weaving magical papers, actually. So, but look at that. It's just so pretty. And that abstract one, love that. I just love it all. Naked girl. Moose, where's where? Joycey? Yeah, I say naked girl. Courtney <laughs> goes, where? <laughs> you just see her little butt. Isn't that cute? Yeah, th that was the section she was talking about people. I've read part of it. I think that just went on the floor. But yeah, her people are pretty darn good, actually. So, and I have not attempted to do that. People are not one of my favorite subjects. Unless they're cartoon characters, of course. All right, so that's the... Carlin Holman book. Look at those poppies. Ugh. I love her work. Love her work. So, yep. You also got a Coronoid journal with a line template included. Well, it sounds like you got good stuff, Scooby. Go back to work, Shauna. All right. And so Courtney and I are going to um, use these little discs that I got for no money at Hobby Lobby and carve her initials. Her initials are CJY and her sister's initials are also CJY. So we're going to do the same thing, only not the exact same. She's going to come up with her own design. I'm going to come up with my own design. And she's already got hers kind of drawn out, which is really cool looking. And don't make it too intricate, hun, because it's going to be hard to cut. But it's okay. Give it a shot. I mean, you don't know until you try, right? I haven't even started mine yet. So um, I might let her come over and start carving. She's She said she did something in school before. Did, were you carving this stuff, Court? Okay, so you've made the rubber stamps before? Not so, stamps. But how, yeah. Why did you carve them? Uh, Just to carve? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to actually use them as rubber stamps. So if you've never carved rubber stamps... It's fun. Um, Dee Dee has shown some of hers. And Mary, and I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm just going to do my best. Altie is like a really, really good stamp carver. And she does it quite a bit. But Speedball makes this little carving tool. Courtney's is a little bit different than mine. But they make this little carving tool. And in the... Um, back of it are all the blades that it comes with. I'd already taken all the blades out and set them over here. So you get like five different blades. Courtney's blades were a little bit different than mine, but they're all going to work essentially the same. I like to use an exacto when I carve. 
but then also Speedball makes a lot of different material to cut on. So this is an old, old speedy cutting printing block. It's kind of hard. Um, it doesn't dry out or get crack or stuff like that. And then I saw this at Hobby Lobby too. It's a Speedball product. Regular five bucks on sale for 99. Um, yeah. So there's a bunch of different materials you can carve on. But I have always loved carving these Magic Rub erasers. Um, yeah, Eileen is saying she likes carving the, um, these, and I do too. Um, but when you carve with these, you're really limited by size, right? So if you have a Dollar Tree somewhere around, and I've never done it before, but I got thinking, why couldn't you, because they have these great big, and they'll have them, a lot of them here soon because school supply time. Why couldn't you carve these great big bad boys and then you could do um, something bigger and it's going to be a lot cheaper than buying the speedball material unless, of course, you find it on sale like I did. So I don't know. I've never carved into this, but I can't imagine why it wouldn't work well. So hi, Kim. Kim said, hey, Courtney. Bye. So, Hello. yeah, and I got the title for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll get that taken care of. All right. Ask Jamie and them if they need anything what, before what you else go. What am I supposed to do while I'm in there? Um, hang on. Thinking the rat is needing some help. Um, I moved all your stuff over there. I don't think there was anything else. Oh, you need to um, ship that part back. Yeah. That's why you're going. Right. And I need my pen, pen too. Mm -hmm. but you need to steal a pen. Is that what you're talking about? No. Oh. I had one at the table this morning and it's gone. Oh, Courtney might have had it. Was it green? Yes. I think Courtney had it. What'd you do with this pen, Court? Because uh -huh. I can't let him have one of my nice ones. It's in the book. Didn't you put it back in the book? Yeah, I think so. Maybe. Oh, we got a missing pen. <laughs> and the sad thing is, we don't have any pens in this household. About 50,000 is okay. all. Oh, she found it. Thank um, you. When I retired from work, two boxes of Magic Rub erasers landed up in my purse. Ah, oh, you little thief. <clears throat> Were the tools on sale? Um, Debbie, there was. At my um, Hobby Lobby, there was one of these left. So, yeah, it's going to be a hit and miss thing. And the sale's been going on now for a while. So it's going to get more hit and miss the longer you wait. Court and I might go to Joplin tomorrow, Robert. Um okay. But anyway, yeah, I did get a good deal on the tool so that I could give it to Courtney. And if she wanted to, um, she could take it home. You got two of them? Did you get two of them on sale, Kathy? Are you home? I asked earlier, but I didn't wait for your answer. I'm sorry. Is this box ready to just drop in? And yeah, you can take it into that postal net place. And just take it up to the counter. They shouldn't charge you anything for it because it's ready to go and it's prepaid. Okay. Okay. Back to what we're really doing. Okay. So I'm going to start drawing. And I did get out a few um, books because you can't do anything without a book, right? So did you look at these, Courtney? Look at this one. Okay. And did you use their ideas? Mm -hmm. Cool. Anything else? I can't think of anything, hon. I don't know what we're having for dinner, but we'll worry about that later. Okay. Okay. See okay. you. Bye. We've tacos. Oh, Robert, yeah. do you need your checkbook for the um, title transfer? No, cash. Okay. All right. See you. Bye. 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 All right. So I'm going to go through and look. Let's show them your design court. All right, here's Courtney's design, one of them. Oh, the elephant is adorable. Did you just dream that up and draw it out of your head? No, it's Dumbo. Well, I know, but you just drew it out of your head. You weren't looking at anything, right? Oh, you did? Okay. She she used a reference to draw that, but that is really cute, Court. He needs to be carved for sure. I like your monogram, too. So I'm not sure what I'm going to come up with. Do you want to start carving on camera first? She doesn't want to start. Yeah, 
Isn't that little elephant cute? And if you'd rather do that, do that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show Court what to do. And I put this on um, lightweight vellum because when you're carving initials or anything where direction is important or necessary, if you draw it regularly like this, you have to remember that you have to carve it in reverse, right? Hi, Holly. Um, so along with the little tool that I got her, they gave you this cardboard thing. So what you're going to do, Court, is flip this over upside down, mm -hmm. position it on your the material you're going to carve. Give me the graph paper. I mean, yeah, the transfer paper. Get it positioned right and then put the this in there. Now try not to move that. Okay. And draw over your design to transfer it onto the carving material. Hang on. I want to make sure we don't lose vision. Now try and keep that just like that. You want to tape it down? Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and flip through quickly this book and see if I find a lettering that I particularly like because I'm going to carve one. Um, ah, I'll just make it up out of my head. What do I care? Unless you guys want to see some lettering books. I brought out a bunch of lettering books. Hey, Joycey. Did you see the elephant, Joycey? This was another book I got on sale at Hobby Lobby, normally 19 for 5 bucks. I got some really good deals. I would never have bought this book full price because so much of the book is practice pages. And I just feel like that's a ripoff. So... But it's got dot grid and graph, which I love. All right, let's see. That's kind of a cool C. But we got to get CJY on there. I wish I hadn't looked at your design first because now I want to copy yours. I don't care. I know you don't. <laughs> Do you think Kayla would want um, fancy or plain? I don't think she cares. She's Actually doing hers this way too, like um, small on one end and big on the other would be kind of fun and cool. Did you really buy that one? Didi, I bought this one um, during the first sale. Whatever that was over a year ago, whenever they were doing that to that really big reset a year ago, because I figured for five bucks, I should own everything. What didn't work? The graphite drawing it down on there didn't work. Maybe I'm going to have to get some different paper. All right, let me show you a different way. We tried to use some graphite transfer paper, and she said it didn't work. So um, let me show you another way to do it. Here's um, her design. Um so take a, a soft lead pencil and go over your design and try and get some graphite down. It's a lot of graphite, hun. And we'll just see if it will transfer direct. And it's not going to come out exact, but we're going to do the best we can, right? Mm -hmm. I like your design. A lot. Okay, and then these lines. You're going to have to move those lines around your designs out a little bit, I think. Because getting in that smallest space is, is tricky. So if you don't have the graphite paper or it doesn't work well whatever just go ahead and use soft lead draw over your design flip it over and go over it again hun see if it works better that way um yeah and press pretty good it, do you think that's too fine a nib is it going to tear through okay just give it a try if that doesn't work we'll go to plan c <laughs> Oh, okay, so did I. I thought you just bought it again. Oh, no, but I've done that, Dee Dee, so 
buying something a second time is really not that unusual for me. But the cool thing about that is Amy usually ends up with the stuff that I buy more than once. All right. I haven't decided. Oh, circus lettering might be fun too. See, that's the problem with getting into a lettering book. They all look so much fun. All right. I'm kind of liking that idea of big going to small or small going to big. And then we could put a heart or something on it with it. All right, I think that's what I'm going to do, and I'll just draw the letters out of my head. But you buy the books, you got to use them, man. All right. And you have to do it on the paper so you can do, the, unless you feel confident enough that you could draw your image um, backwards, which I don't. So, um, let's see. Hey, Eileen, I hope you're paying attention. Oh. Did it work? Worked great. Okay, let's show that before you start carving. Okay, there's Courtney's design transferred onto the um, stamping material. I think she did good because it's balanced um, pretty good, up and down, left and right. So it's gonna, it should stamp well. What would you, Courtney, charge to make me a pretty butterfly? I was going to get Mary to do it, but she's backed way up. Courtney is such a natural. I'd love to see what she would do. Okay, while well, she's sitting here doing nothing, I'll have her draw a butterfly. All right. You've got, already got a commission, girl. Me? Yeah. No, what? She wants a butterfly. Okay. So do it in one of the round. And, um, yeah, look, it, the girl already got her first commission. That's just free at entertainment in the background. <laughs> Bunch of those new and used on Amazon. Oh, the um, lettering books? All right, I'm trying to decide. Well, I'm, start that. I'm supposed to do the outside, right? Like. The okay, now that's another thing. Now you get to decide. Do you want to do a reverse image where your letters are white and the background is black? Or do you want to carve out the background where when you ink it, the letter gets the ink? Whichever you prefer, honey. So, like, this would be the letters. They like, popped out and the background would be carved out, right? That's, that's one way to do it. Or you can carve out the letters and your um, the letters would appear white where ink doesn't stick. That's easier. That's not a good question when you're going into a project. The question would be, which would you rather have? Oh, let me show what you drew on your hand. This is what Courtney drew on her hand. The girl's got some real natural talent. Yesterday, she drew on her leg. She looked like she had a total sleeve up her leg. <laughs> So it doesn't matter, hon. I would think carving the background out and leaving the letters white, you know, that are going to stamp is probably the way I would approach it. But you can approach it either way. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Okay. All right, mine, I think, is going to be easier. I was going to say, Elena, or Eileen, I hope you're paying attention. Because I'm using my ruler. Get a nice straight line, you know? All right, that's how mine's going to be. And that's kind of good for Kayla, because Kayla was a cheerleader. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm going to do her lettering, um, like, see where it gets bigger, like that, that. Oh, that's cool. And I'll let her, I'll move it over, I think, a little bit, and then I'll do a heart down here. Just something different. 
but I am going to move it over because I don't like the Y going off that much. Do you still have my eraser? Thank you. And they got to be more than just um, lines, right? Do the Y first. There we go. I'll just do regular block lettering. That's boring. There's the word from the peanut gallery. That's boring. <laughs> You want me to put some serifs on it or something? Yeah. Make it all fancy. Oh, the thing is, any little thing you add is going to make it that much more difficult, you know? But this is now when you can make your corrections and stuff like that. Because after you start carving, um, it's going to be a little bit harder. And this is fairly precise, what we're doing, too. You know, it's not like a design where you can alter it later. Okay, Courtney's already started. Yeah, I'm liking that, okay? All right, nobody's talking to me in chat. If you're new here, welcome. If I didn't say hi, I'm sorry. Um, if you're talking to me, put it in caps because it makes it easier when I look over at the chat um, to see. Um, I'm not liking that hard. It looks... A little off-centered. Who cares? <laughs> It'll be one of a kind, right? Yeah. All right. Just like All right. Sister. Do you like that, Courtney? Or do you want me to do a different design for your sister? It's actually really cool. You like it? All right. That's what we're going with then. I'm going to go over it real quick with the soft graphite. I'm excited that we're going to go shopping tomorrow. We can shop for clothes for you, too, if you want. And um, hopefully we'll buy, find some really good deals. Do you have, like, a mall? Is there is a mall. Fun. We have to drive to Joplin, though. Where's that? 50 miles away. But that's okay. Do you get where? We'll turn on some tunes and just rock ourselves up there and I'll drive. spend no you're not driving <laughs> jesus do you have a learner's permit you don't you're not old enough i know there's a joke yeah that's all i need get thrown in jail for letting an underage driver drive my car hey, i've been really good keeping my dumb ass out of jail until this point and i don't need any help <laughs> All right, so there should be enough graphite there. And I'm doing this pretty simple so we can actually get it done on stream. And we have plenty of these little discs, so um, we can carve more stuff if we want. Can I do my elephant? Uh-huh. Just do it the way we just did your lettering, and it's going to be good. That C is icky. I don't like it. I can fix it. I think that caffeine is jacking with me. I'm shaking like a leaf. I don't normally drink caffeine, but Amy's, Amy, Jill has some really yummy coffee, like Cajun coffee or something from Louisiana. So I drank some of it and it's caffeinated. Holy crap. 
All right. Let's see how that is going. All right. Maybe pretty simple. Is anybody else carving along with us? All right. Courtney is getting after it. I don't necessarily want to cut into my hand, so I think I'm going to take the backing, the sticky backing off, and put it on here so I don't cut my hand off either. Just some free advice, because that's why you guys come, I'm sure. Um, I'm just looking at which blade I want to use here kind of think I want to actually cut first with my exacto, the straight lines. What I just did was really stupid. Don't put your thumb where you're carving. It's a dumb thing to do. Oh, really? Yep. Not hosing you, girly. I thought that's what you wanted to do. Yeah. Cut. Yeah, that's what I told you before we started, right? Make sure you cut toward yourself mm -hmm. and any fingers <laughs> that you're not interested in keeping. Yeah, those are the ones you want to cut toward. Yeah. And that stick them on the back is not sticking well. The straight lines, in my opinion, are easier to do with an exacto. The curves, maybe not so much. Did you hear my stomach? That was your stomach. That was my stomach. Ew. I should have ate a bagel with you, right? I had four or two. Okay, I'm gonna cut This isn't going so well. Do what? This isn't going so well. It kind of looks bad. Well, let me see. I bet it's fine. I don't like that C either. No, I think it's okay. Looks okay to me. Mm. We'll see when we stamp it. If it turns out like crap, we still own a trash can, you know? Yeah, I think that's what this is going to end up. Yeah, you're being critical. Yeah. Uh, not good. It's okay. I have a dog that's going to turn out amazing. Your what? Your elephant? Yeah. I hope so. That would be way cool. All right. Let's see. Let me see if I cut. Don't do this at home, boys and girls. Me too. I'm just going to cut off some of this so I don't have to gouge it out. See if I can pull it off that way. Do you want to stamp it and see what it's like? Sure. Where's that piece of paper I gave you to stamp on? All right, we're going to see Courtney's first stamp. You thought it was your stomach? Yeah. All right, that worked out pretty good, actually, taking that big hunk off all at once. I'm going to try it again. If you're going to do this with an exacto, I would say make sure your exacto is nice and sharp. And I'm cutting just enough that I can see the blade through the material. So I kind of know where it's cutting. <laughs> would it come out like, show it. You have to show it. Honey, that's not horrible. That's her the first stamp off. That is not bad at all. Good girl. She is crafty, this girl. Now I'm going to be embarrassed to show mine. No, you're just going to be good. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. 
okay, it's going to my sister, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, it's going for her sister, so who cares anyway, right? Yeah. We would be this mean even if we, Kayla was here. Well, I'm always this mean to my sister. All right, I'm going to have to carve using one of these now. Ooh, what? Which um, blade were you using, Court? The smallest one. Okay, that's I, what I was going to put in first, too. Probably a little easier to control. Okay, coloring. Look at everybody saying, wow, that's great. Judy said, so sweet. Hi, Ashley. Um, Scooby, wow, awesome job. Did you cut yourself? Almost. Oh, my God. I need to go get the first aid kit. Coloring with D, really nice, Courtney. Good job, Courtney. Oh, wow. Can I do it Good job, Courtney. Way? So, can you do what? Like, do it and then cut off that outside. You cut yourself? Almost. Look, dad comes running. Are you cut, honey? Should we take you in and get you? Oh my God. <laughs> What's bad? It's good. She's the boss, man. Oh, I just cut myself. You did? Under the sink in the bathroom you guys are using is a little um, first aid kit that we should have little band-aids in it. All right. That was one of the things I didn't want to happen. However, I'm not surprised. So <laughs> Looks like a blood bath on the table. Oh, no. This is stained from, I don't know, something Eileen made me do. I need to go to the hospital. Oh, my God. Now she's going to start whining. No, this is a ploy to get her dad to buy her something. I'll bet money. Yeah, I don't like this little blade. I'm going to have to go for a little bit bigger one. Not loving it. It's not bad, is it, hon? No. No, she's fine. She's going to be fine. Hmm. She has different blades than I do. I might like hers a little better. This is a good... Um, <laughs> project to do with your grand grandkids if you don't like their fingers. <laughs> you want to make sure they go home without any of their fingers. Cool. She's going to live. <laughs> Can I do another one? Yeah, have it do as many as you want. I don't what do we do with the there, yeah. Do whatever you want. I actually bought this junk for you. Really? If this was special, I get junk. Yep. <laughs> Saw it on sale and thought, oh man, that Courtney needs that. Yeah, this blade is better, way better. So did you just like trace it with the pencil and then first? Yeah, on the back side. Yeah, and that pencil there is the soft lead. So what I would do, okay. Now on that one, if you want, you don't have to draw the lines. You can scribble the entire back. Just make it like a piece of graph. Or Here, let me show you. I think it'll work. Just like this, so you don't have to be so careful with the lines. And this is real soft, so it'll transfer easily. Oh, and then just trace it. And then just draw the elephant onto the car carving material. And that should be good. Oh, my God. Janet will cut off her pinky for using with the wax. <laughs> oh, God. If I thought I could get away with it, Eileen. <laughs> I'm not that mean. Maybe. Huh? To do what? 
She said I would cut off your pinky to, so that I wouldn't have to put my fingers in the wax because when you use that wax that I showed you, that smells real good, um, your fingers stay stained for about an entire week. Oh. So, yeah, she's thinking I would cut off your finger so that I didn't have to put my finger in the wax. I'll probably end up putting my own finger, so... But I think that's something she would actually do to her grandchildren. She's always doing that projecting thing with me. She thinks of mean things and says, I would do it. I really think she would. I don't know. Yours is going to be way better, Court. I'm pretty sure. Because I'm shaking like I drank 15 cups of caffeine coffee. Look. Oh, how cute is that? She just transferred it. Oh, I hope that works out for you, Court, because that is going to be adorable. So should I do the outside and then just leave the lines? Like, Yeah, that's what I would do, don't you think? Yeah. It's going to be a lot of carving, but I think that's what I would do. Oh, teach her about condoms. <laughs> what? She said that I should teach you about condoms. Oh. Ooh. Interesting. <laughs> um, Amy brought me down some. Have you ever seen? They're called finger cots. Um, so that you can put it over your fingers. They're good for flipping pages or keeping your fingers clean, whatever. That's what she's talking about. And when we were using them last week with Amy, I was calling them dwarf condoms. So that's why they want me to teach you about condoms. Yeah. We'll have the other talk later, okay? Okay. All right. My heart is pitiful looking. Oops. It's really lopsided, but that's okay. Kayla will never notice, will she? I have it All right, I'm going to see if that bigger one will work. It's not that lopsided. Well uh, this tool is a pain in the ass, huh? <laughs> um, Coloring with D said the elephant is really cute, Courtney. Thanks, girls. She said, thanks, girls. All right, I just changed blades, so maybe I can make tracks a little better here. We'll see. Yeah, that's taking off more material. I'm going to speed this process up a little bit. Oh, I could have left the circle around it because when this stamps, yeah, I probably should have left a little bit of that circle around. Oh, well. That Live and learn. I haven't done this for so long. <clears throat> what, honey? That yeah, I suspect you're right. Because this is not something you would do with a boy, right? <laughs> She's all into the boys. Let's go stamp. That'd be so fun. Yeah. <laughs> just go yeah, things. that would be like one time date. I am begging to get cut here if I'm not careful. I keep cutting the cardboard. That's all right. If we need to, we'll just cut you a new piece. See, I like when I can haul huge pieces out of it. So satisfying. 
Well, you're going to like it too because you've got a lot of intricate little stuff on Mr. Ellie. I hope that comes out cute though. Me too. Next thing you know, you'll be selling your own stamp designs. Oh, no. You don't think? Definitely not. Apparently, that's not in her life plan. Mm -hmm. Courtney wants to be an, a lawyer when she grows up and we have not had a discussion about how much I don't like lawyers. How old is Courtney? She's 13. Why don't you like lawyers? You what? Why don't you like lawyers? Because I think they're a bunch of money grubbing scumbags. What? But you could be a good lawyer. Right. Look, now Jill and J Jamie are out there laughing their heads off. The what? I missed it. Oh my God. I hope you guys can't hear Jamie and Lori in the living room talking. Lori? Oh, did I say that? Jill, I'm so sorry. Oh my God. Me and my big mouth. Yeah, come on. I'm not even going to explain to the viewing audience what a dope I am. But Jill knows I love her. Getting in that little spot right there is kind of a pain. Courtney's probably doing it the right way. She's taking off small amounts where I'm trying to take the whole dang thing at once because that's the way I do it. And this is why I can't color, too. Back to the grind. Bye, Devin. Sue said, you go, Courtney. All right. I like it smoother too. I might have to um, stamp this. Nope, that's got to come off first. Oh God. His eyes aren't looking so good. All right, where's, can I see the bottom of your tool, that black thing that's laying there? All right, I'm not going to show the audience. I'm going to stamp it first, and then if it comes out really bad, I'm going to throw it away and start over. Oh, this is bad. Bad news. No, it's not. Got some work to do, though, don't I? You just need to like, God, that heart those. is horrible. Yeah, I just got to smooth them out. And that Y is really bad. But now I can at least see where my lines need to be. So I'll use this one. All right. Wait for the Eileen comment because you know it's coming. <laughs> oh, my God. 13-year-old but did better than you. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's coming. Really. I know the girl. Look at, she said, looks like crap. I knew it was coming. I knew it. I knew it. I'm going to try and double stick tape this down because this is just getting downright dangerous. Mm -hmm. Maybe she didn't cut your fingers. Yeah, well, I don't want to grow up to be like Courtney. <laughs> grow up. <laughs> oh, no. Hi, CL. <clears throat> After you stamp it, making the corrections, it are is a little easier because um, you can see what you want gone. So this part becomes a lot easier. Those letters suck. <sighs> this was a bad project to do with a 13-year-old who can kick your butt, right? Say this open so it looks so good. Yeah, well, 
Is it time to stamp it to see where you need to start making some corrections? Mm -hmm. Cutting out that J is going to be hard. Your cutting tool, actually, I like better than mine, Court. Mm -hmm. And it's some off-brand. I mean, it's, it's not even the speedball one, but this one doesn't want to give up its blades. You get bonus points from me for trying this at all. Thanks, CL. I injured a 13-year-old. <laughs> Eileen is the she to Janet's shenanig or to Janet's nanigans. <laughs> all right, come out of there. I'm gonna end up hurting myself just getting the blades out. Do I want to use that little one again? Try it. Ugh, we try it. Try and get this J carved out. If this turned out really ugly, we're going to tell Kayla that we just forgot and didn't do it. <laughs> I'll give her one of those alphabet boxes that I have up there and say, here, you can make your own initials now. I'll just spell your name out. Oh, my God. That C is so... Rough, man. Maybe it's because I can't see good. Does that sound good? Oh. <clears throat> Did you cut yourself? Like went through. Oh, well, that's no big deal. It's fine. All right, Jay's looking better. Now we'll see if we can't get the Y. hands are a mess. We're going to have to vacuum when this is done too because look at all this crap that's all over. Honestly. It's all right. I'll just go hide and let you clean up. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we can make your dad do it. Mm, that's a good idea. He still has to do what I say. <laughs> Even though it's like 50 something. All right. I'm not sure that there's a whole lot of hope for this, but we're going to soldier on, man. I thought I was bad at watercoloring until I tried this. I bet it'll be better than you think, Carol. Have you stamped it yet? This just sucks. I don't think there's any hope for this. Yeah, it's pretty bad. The heart is horrible. What was I thinking when I was doing that? Jeez. Are you about an hour? I know. It goes fast, doesn't it? Yeah, there's... I don't think I can save it. It's going off. I'm carving the whole damn thing off. Courtney is gone. Like, I'm not even going to try and save it. Not even. I should just start over. Let's see what I like. Eileen has to say, Courtney, have your grandma die cut some letters or shapes on some foam, glue them on another piece of foam, and you get some cool stamps. Look at her. Always full of great ideas, right? Mm -hmm. We haven't even gotten the die cutter out. We haven't had that much time, really.
Let me see that flat blade, see how it works. Um, I've actually um, done that with the um, fun foam letters that you can buy. Eileen, so I've actually, I didn't die cut my own, but I used the die cut ones that you can buy um, die cut. I have actually done that. You can get some nice big stamps that way, actually, because typically the larger um, alphabet stamps are more expensive. Um, so, yeah, if you use that fun foam, you can actually get some nice ones. And they sell them um, pre-die cut over in the kids department. FYI. Have you stamped it yet to see where you're at? You don't know that. Beginner's luck. <laughs> the edge of this stuff is a pain in the neck to cut. I will say that. All right, I'm glad the heart's gone. I'm feeling better now. Not that the letters are Your eyes any crooked. Better, but, huh? Your eyes crooked. Hush. Hush. <laughs> oh, God. What, have you been hanging out with Eileen or what? Feels bad. Maybe we just need to draw and leave out the carbon part. I think it's a good We're idea. both better drawers. Look at it. <laughs> He's cute. Let me see what he stamped like. She's not liking the elephant at all. Really and my wife's cooking. Well. No, honey, he's better than you think. Stamp it again. I want to see it. He really is, I think, better than you think he is. There's another little thing. There was two of them? It was just on this. Oh. There you go. I didn't know that. Well, this is getting over there. All right. Let me see. I don't know why the center isn't stamping. Because your cut is actually really good, Court. But look at how that inked up, but it didn't stamp. So that's weird. Well, live and learn. If you don't want to finish it, who cares? Put it in the trash and we'll act like we um, never did it. Never, it never happened. All right. Oops. I get the black thing back. Your stickum works better, though. Do we have a troll, Eileen? Yeah, the Y still needs some help and the top of the J, but actually they're getting a little bit better. Huh? Right there. Oh, wait. I don't know. Did I lose it? Yeah. How could I have lost it? What'd you just I go throw away? I threw away all the scraps I did. Well, I don't know how it could disappear that quick. I don't see it. We've lost the elephant. Stamp on a yeah, soft surface it and it will make a better impression like a soft mat. You threw it away? She already threw it away. No, I did it. You didn't? I did it. How could we lose that? Is it in the trash can down there? I wouldn't throw it away in there. You can look in there if you want, but I don't think so. No. What? Is it in my lap? How could we lose something that quick? Uh, it's not over here, honey. Yeah, Sorry. I, I didn't throw it away. Okay. I don't know 
don't know where it is. Can I have more of these? Yeah. All right, where did I stamp last time? All right, here we go. Like five left. You want me to get the rest? Yeah, go ahead and finish it. Throw the package away. We're going to have to make Courtney or Kayla a different one. I'm not loving this. Not loving it at all. Okay, and Kathy Berg said, stamp on a soft surface and we'll get a better impression. So get the elephant out, Courtney. Oh, I thought you said you threw it away. No, I didn't get it. <sighs> I don't know, man. Isn't it on the underside? No. No, I, I don't know where how we could have lost that quickly. Honestly, it was just sitting right there. All right, we're going to clean up a little bit of this mess and see. Did you put the blades back? The blades are right here. Oh, okay. Um, that is really weird part. I don't know. Did you put it over here? I don't I don't think so. <laughs> I really don't. Um, what? We're just taking a minute and cleaning up this mess because we have a missing elephant. <laughs> the elephant in the room is missing. Okay. Dad's coming to help. It's just one of those little round discs like this, Jamie. She that's the one she drew. She actually did carve it on one of these and now it's like gone. And we haven't gone anywhere. We haven't done anything. Now I'm gonna have to stay mine again. I was gonna say, could it I don't know. Courtney says, now let's do something exciting. All right, Courtney, what do you do you want to play with magicals again? Sure. Because um, we actually talked about doing magicals today <laughs> rather than this. What? Yeah, Kat, Kimberly, that's what I said. It's the elephant in the room. But we didn't put anything over here, so it wouldn't be over here. Oh, you know one thing we can try. Because somebody else got one of these gel plates. Um and said that it didn't work well with paint. It would work better with ink. So I don't know. But if you stamped it off on the gel plate, then you wouldn't have to carve it backwards. So I was going to try that too. That is crazy bizarre. I don't know. I don't know. We lost an elephant. This is a first. I'll change the name of this dream to the lost elephant. I don't know. Where'd you put it after you stamped it? Didn't I had it on the back of that and I said your sticky works better than mine. And then you place it like over here. Yeah, and then I just set it right there. And I thought you picked it up. Is it in the box? No. It's right there. Okay, it was stuck to the side of the box. OMG. Leave it to Jamie. <laughs> All right, we're going to try stamping it on this soft surface, honey. Okay. If you find the elephant and do not want, send to me. Okay, Joyce has said she'll use the elephant. Bad, but... All right, we're going to stamp it on a soft surface now. But I'll let Courtney sit in the driver's seat here. I'll give her some magicals, and I'll probably go pour a drink. No, nah, that didn't help. I just don't understand. Hmm. Let me get a, an acrylic block out. Maybe that's giving too much. I don't know. Judy, Courtney's elephant like you have mine. 
You guys are trading elephants? All right, where's a cool acrylic block? That one's big enough. Hey, Eileen, what do you want Courtney to do? So you can make fun of her like you make fun of me. And I have not played with this jelly print plate yet to know. But I don't know um, who said that. Does anybody remember who said that this these jelly prints don't work well with acrylic ink? I could have guessed that, Eileen. Doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's messy. Okay, that worked a little better. It's the acrylic block. So now you know. Actually, that's not bad, Courtney. Not good either. Well, when you, you do, like, take this one out. Get your little tool out and get after it. But there's, mm -hmm. there's your reference so you can see. But it's not bad. Eileen wants you to do something messy. <laughs> yeah, because we don't have enough to do around here right now. All right, I'm going to stamp mine one more time. Let's see. Paint the elephant paint and go pour yourself a drink. There you go, Julie. You and I think alike, man. All right, it's getting better now. It's not great. It's not horrible. But it would take a lot more practice. It's not better than the elephant. Do you want to send that to Joycey? All right, Joycey, Courtney said yeah, it looks better you can have the elephant. So I just sent you an envelope the other day, so I'll set it aside until I get together another envelope. envelope. Did I say envelope right? Wrong? Right. Okay. Yeah, I got a 13-year-old who corrects my English now. You said it right. Okay. It's what I need. And I don't know why this down here. Yeah, mine was like 52. Yeah, I don't know why it's stamping because it's well below. Of course, it's on the edge. I actually could cut this out and not leave it a circle. And I wouldn't even have had to carve any of that crap out. What the hell is wrong with me? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> here we go. We're going to make this easy. Bye-bye <laughs> <laughs> mess. Oh my God. <laughs> this is what you do. Uh -uh. Just make it really easy for yourself. Mount it on a wood block and call it a piece of art. How about that? Get out a ruler to make it straight. Now you're thinking right, Eileen. <laughs> After all these many moons, you finally have figured out how to think right. I never thought it would happen. All right, I'm going to put Courtney in the driver's seat, get her some paper. All right, that's as good as we're going to get. Can you guys see that? It looks great. Huh? It looks great. You like it? Yes. Oh, I don't want it on focus, you freak. <laughs> My hands. Ugh. All right, you're going to do some magicals, right? I'll try. You want to? All right. Don't leave, though. You what? Don't leave. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, and I'm not going to start drinking either. For me, drink, drink. her drink. <laughs> <laughs> the girl's got angles. Hi, Norma. All right, some of this off my hands. Are your hands a mess? No, not really. Just a little bit. Oh, your little sheep. Those are sheep, right? Probably. Little babies. All right, focus, you freak. Did you just throw your stamp away? No. Oh, it's on here. I just threw it away. Right, I just threw the papers that we were stamping away. All right. Put these, I'll clean up for us while you um, play with some magicals. Um, 
Let me go get some paper towel because it works better if you do it on paper towel. It makes less of a mess, which really bums Eileen out, but we don't care. Uh, I'll make a mess anyway, so it'll be fine. I'll just take the whole roll. All right. Courtney's in the driver's seat now. What happened? It's not. Oh. It's um, Yeah. Leave the focus of you free because it needs something to focus on, or otherwise it just keeps trying to autofocus. Mm. Can I move this up? And it looks funky on screen. You want to move the entire camera up? No, I was moving this one. Oh, okay. All right, here's the magical oh God. powders. Let me get you some paper. Do you want to do it on heavier weight paper or um, like copy paper? I don't care. You don't care? Let's do some on each then. Let's do one on this Canton watercolor paper because I think it works better on absorbent paper. So there's your first sheet and it's cheap watercolor paper so I don't mind using it for that. Can I do like a rainbow? Some watercolor paper is so expensive you can't do it. What? Can I do a rainbow? Do what you want, hon. All right, here's a piece of card stock so you can see what it works like on that. Pineapple. Um, what else? Here's, this is just oh. 20 pound. All right, this will give us a good idea. I like the text, like the copy paper, just because it's easier to use in other projects. Cardstock's a little bit harder. Why is this not staying? All right, Courtney, you have beautiful voice. Thanks. And tell Janet you are too young to drive. She is too young to drive, but she that doesn't <laughs> keep her from trying to get to drive. She got to drive what last night? Mm -hmm. Yeah, her dad let her drive last night. Do I just pour water in it? What I would do is um, get the paper really, really wet first with the spray bottle. Okay. I need more water. Mm. Yeah, time. you're gonna need more water for sure. <gasps> oh, look, they're so insidious. Sorry. Don't want focus you free to get all nasty. Is that so, enough? Yeah, you just want it really, really wet because the powders are gonna work best. Um. on the wet, wet paper. And on this paper, the watercolor paper to keep it from curling. Well, this is true of any paper, hun. Spray it on the back side too. And that curl will stop. Interesting. Yep. See the crap you'll learn when you hang out down here. <laughs> and if you touch the paper with dirty fingers, you get dirty fingerprints. All right, there you go. There's your wet paper. There's your magical powders. I'll go get you some more water. Okay. All right, full water bottle. Thanks. You did something similar similar with the last time we played with them, I think. Yeah, probably. What are these things for? They're just to keep them from spilling out when you knock them over like you just did. That's, why is it? What color? Flick it with your finger if you can. Yeah, it's coming out. Look. Come on. And then when you spray it with water, it will spread. Okie dokie. Stop falling over. Yeah, I actually like this carving tool, I think, a little better. Oh, I don't like this color. Why do I get this one? Oops. 
My bad. Oh, it's like sparkly. Some of them are shimmery. Most of the ones I thought were flat. I'll read chat while um Oh, there's Jamie Young. Where? Jamie's in chat now. Hi Eileen. Pretty, can you keep it down? You talk too much. Jamie, um Bully. Eileen calls Robert my sweet Robert. Where C B she'd be yelling, You're using too much. Exactly. You're getting carried away. Hi cat. My sweet Robert. Put that away. That's looking cool, Court. Is this too much water? Are you saying you can't keep up, Jamie? That's because you're slow to learn. <laughs> he is a sweet guy. You have to say that. Yeah, you can't keep up. Start over, Courtney. That's your dad talking to you. Hmm. He can't keep up. Does that surprise you, Courtney? No. Yeah, me either. <laughs> Ooh, these are hot from the computer. Mongo Kiss. Mm -hmm. She has um, some lip gloss here. Oh, that smells good. Can mm -hmm. I put it on? I don't care. Okay. Mm, that feels good. I've Come. never seen that before. Come. Here, this is what I'm talking about. Her lip gloss stuff. Mongo Kiss. It must be a millennial thing. <laughs> or Are you Generation Z or what exactly are you? I have no idea. She doesn't know what she is. But if she starts acting stupid like millennials, we're going to have issues. Okay, here's Jamie talking to you again. You must be from Colorado, Courtney. Oh, really? <laughs> Hi, Cajun. We're here arting with my granddaughter today. She's playing with magicals. She is generation really. <laughs> Really? Who said that? Your dad. He's just in chat, chatting away. He's so stupid. With the ladies. Oh. Okay, what do I do now? Um, is it what is it the way you want it to be? You don't want to do any more to it? Can I touch it? Well, yeah, you can. I want it to like spread out more. I could get you out of um paintbrush or something too. Let me put this over here. Oh, you're going to turn it to mud here pretty quick, kiddo, if you don't stop. I know. All right. If you know and you don't care, then I'm cool with that too. And if you want to get rid of some of the excess water, just pour it off on the um, paper towel and the paper towel drive too. Oh, and Eileen's saying have her put another piece on top. <laughs> Joyce is going, yay, mud. <laughs> I think it looks good. It does. Actually, it does look good, honey. Now we can let that one dry, and if you want to work it to, on top of it again to get those bursts of color. Okay, where do I put the it? Real bright colors. I don't know. We didn't plan on that, did we? Here, yeah. there's some paper behind you. I'll just use it. Over here, and we'll set it up to dry. <coughs> All right. Who those? Um, if we ask Eileen to pick the colors, you're going to be doing orange, blue, and green. I can promise you that. that All right. One? Tell your dad to choose some colors for you. Father. <laughs> He's going to do like black. Get her out a large stencil. Oh, and okay, we can try that. Beware the mud. Yeah, no light. Give Courtney a few condoms to use. <laughs> you guys are a total piece of work. I'll do red, white, and blue. Oh, well, you know what? All right, we're going to try a stencil. Okie dokie. <laughs> Pink. Hmm. 
Black light orange. All right, so whoever suggested the stencil, tell us how you want us to use it. And you're going to do, what are you going to do? Oh, you can do a Bronco. Bronco. Yeah. My All right, dad we're said getting a Bronco page now. Um, oh, no. What? Wrong color or what? There's other colors on it. Oh, because it might be soaking through. We could have gotten a clean paper towel. Do you want a clean paper towel or is it too late now? It's too late. That's fine. All right, let me go back and see what Shauna said. Jamie's going Bronco colors, please. Um, yeah, too late, Shauna. It's okay. White, orange, and pissy pink. Poor Jamie must have had a few drinks. No, not yet. Who said She's that? doing Bronco for dad. Yep. You could almost bet that if you tell Jamie to choose the colors. Yeah, they're, it's going to be obnoxious. Oh, that blue, that's a lot. Oh, my God. Wait until you see. Where did that? Oh, that's white. Now, the orange and the blue, when you mix them together, that's going to be ugly mud. You understand that? Okay. I'm not going to mix them together. All right. So they're not going to get mixed together. There's more orange, right? Um, yeah, there's different flavors of orange, if that's what you mean. <sighs> um, Jamie right now is living down um, in Monument. Well, but when we lived there all together, we lived in Boulder. Um, okay, Sean, I'm ready. She'll be getting moose poop. Absolutely, Eileen. She just doesn't know how ugly it's going to be until she's done. But it's okay. We'll just let her do what she's going to do. If she doesn't mix them, it could look really cool. Because yeah, colors opposite each other on the color wheel um, are complementary. And it could really pop. But it could turn into real crap, too. It's okay. If it's crap, I'll just give it to my dad. <laughs> All right, I'm reading, Shauna. Tell me. Make a print with all that goodness. Do you want us to do Smack and Dragon? All right, what they're saying is put another, I don't know that putting another piece on top is really going to work well. Is that cardstock? Yeah, you use the cardstock. Not Try not to get poster? water in these because that will really jack them up. But I That's why to I put them. Because you're going to go home and buy me a whole bunch more, aren't I was you? Just joking. With all your money. Her thousands and millions of dollars that she makes every week. Wet paper, lay down the stencil so it suctions to the paper and then sprinkle whatever. Then lightly spray with water, then get another piece of paper and make a Sammy. Okay. Actually, it's not as ugly as I thought it was going to be, Courtney. Yeah, I don't think it is. Hi, Kim. And she's working on um, cardstock here, and it really sucked up the water. So it's not like there's excess water sitting on top of that. So that was one good thing, and it didn't mix. Um, I'm just trying to think. If we went ahead and arted on top of that, there's no good colors that we could art on top of that, kiddo. Can we do a different one? Yeah, we'll do another one. And we'll try, do you want to do a stencil this time? Like sure. Shauna's talking about? We're going to, I chose a Patty Tolly Parish stencil because I love this so much. What is that? Um, it's just, Patty does, her designs are, um, I don't know, what do you call them? Just real graphic. 
kind of abstract, but they're always very cool. You can get Patty Tolly Paris stencils on, somebody correct me, but is it um, ice stencils? Oh, that's where you put the paper towels. Yeah. So we'll just move this. That's actually really pretty. Yeah, it is. That's why I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. Let's go ahead and clean up some of your mess that you've got going on. Sorry. To keep it from going other places. You have more control that way, huh? God, just after I bitched at you. I know. <laughs> it wasn't very nice. Yeah. Get over it. Uh, oh, you won't. <laughs> We're not worried either way. All right. Here we go. Can we come with one? Yeah. Well, I have a whole box in your bedroom. Ooh, interesting. Let's go ahead and put one of these big pieces of paper down first. Can we open this? And then, yeah, go ahead and open it. Um, somebody by now has corrected me on where you get Patty Tolly Paris samples, I'm sure. Um, that might work best. Let's just go ahead and do the copy paper and see how it works. The copy paper isn't going to be as absorbent as the watercolor paper or the um, cardstock. cardstock that we just used. And no, she said wet the paper first, and you might want to do both sides of the paper. All right, what did Jamie say now? Stop yelling at my kids. <laughs> kids? Plural. Jamie, I'm going to kick your ass when we get off. Okay, Sean is saying you don't want it soaked, so you might have soaked, enough soaked. on there. All right, now, um, are your hands clean? They're clean enough. All right, she said they're clean enough. <laughs> Go ahead and try and make sure that that's smushed down on the paper, like it's suctioned down on it. Oh, look at cats getting on Jamie. At Jamie Young, type in caps so Janet can see it. <laughs> I knew you ladies would be on my side. Just enough for suction and then just enough for magicals to dissolve. Okay, so far so good, Court. Okay, cool. Am I allowed to get it on this thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll wash it later. And the paper is pretty well dry by now. So, yeah, we'll just go ahead and put that on and then we'll um, spray it after. Okay, Sean is saying now sprinkle away. Isn't that the truth, Julie? Stop yelling at my kid. <laughs> that is not going to happen, Jamie. <gasps> Stop yelling at me. Why you got to be that way? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> right now, Jamie's acting like Chris. <laughs> Whatever, Brock. I'll make him sleep outside tonight. You should do that. But Jill gets to stay. Me too. He's being a good troll. Yeah, he is. He's a great troll. Say, hey, bro, what's going on? <laughs> That's one of the other kids that he's imitating right now. Say, hey, bro. <laughs> Spray until you see the magicals dissolve. Okay. Now, hopefully, if the stencil stays in place, you're going to end up with a really cool design. If it doesn't, we screwed up something. Be ready with sandwich paper. Go get the toilet paper. You're joking, right? <laughs> sandwich paper. Oh. All right, here's a piece of sandwich paper. What am I doing? Tell her when. Okay, she said not too much. Go ahead and put it down. Let's just see what happens. Because we can do this all afternoon. <clears throat> Press with your hands. All right. We got it. We are all over this. And then you end up with two. Two for the price of one. Mm, not really. I don't know. It's, yeah. Well, that's not too horrible, really. Maybe too much water is the deal. Yeah. 
but you got to do it to learn. Maybe we should get an, a more absorbent sheet of paper. Let's get another sheet of that Canson out. Oh, oh. It will absorb really good. Right. I don't mind using the Canson because you can buy it for like no money at Walmart. So, what's this for? That's to sop up some of the water. I'm going to add a little bit more color because it kind of. Yeah, I would too. Fell away. Yeah, she's saying no, too much water. It's all right. We're learning. I think it'll still be cool. Now, blow it dry. All right, we're going to add some more powder. Sandwich it again, Shauna, and then we'll blow it dry. Sandwich. I think it's going to look good, though. I like this part of, up here, especially where you've got that navy blue. That looks really good. I would add a little navy down here, just balance it. No, this navy. I didn't add that color. Huh? I didn't add that color. You it didn't? It. Where'd yeah. that come from? It made it. Cool. It mixed together. See? Oh, okay. I see now. Not too much water. Is that good? You need some right there. There's, okay. All right. Now sandwich it. Yep, art is just learning and playing. Yeah, that Patty Kelly Paris stencil, it's a cool one, isn't it, Kim? Oh, you showed last week? Yeah, I was so busy, Shauna, I couldn't get over to your stream last week. Yeah, you really can't, Kim. Oops. It's all good. You're so far down in the tube now, you probably, oops, focus, you freak. There, it focused itself. No. That's all right. Let's put this one, let it dry. All right, Shauna, should we go ahead and, um, like, dry it with the stencil on it? We don't want to take the stencil off, right? Now blow dry. Okay, down um, on the floor. There you go. You got it. See the blow dryer down there? Okay. Go ahead and blow it. Yeah. Don't get it really close. Because that gets really hot. But, yeah, don't get it too close to the stencil. Yeah. It actually is cool looking on camera. Oh, yeah. That looks like sci fi. -y. Yeah. Just to dry the liquids. And you don't have a huge amount of liquids in there. But all that darker blue and red. Isn't that weird? Mm -hmm. I was making fun of him. She said, Courtney, that's Janet's blow gun. Because she wants me to say, what if she likes for me to say, you need to heat step something. And I always just say, blow it dry. Or I'm just going to blow it. And because she, her mind lives in the gutter, <laughs> I have to be careful what I say. Maybe you can do it. Let's do it. Courtney, you should get your own channel and then put Courtney's calf point. I think she's going to do that, Jamie. I'll help her set it up. You know, mm -hmm. and then she said, um, keep blowing it until it's no longer glossy. I think this is going to come out cool for it. Plus, we picked a good stencil. Hi, Sharon. Oh, Courtney's craft channel. He's so stupid. You feel stupid? He's so stupid. Oh, he's stupid. Yeah, you say, well, why do you feel stupid? Because he's your dad. Yeah. Is it dry? Or here's another name you came up with. Dad's retirement account. <laughs> I think that was my favorite. Yeah. All right. Let's see. 
yank it off. Let's see how it went. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. That is really kind of cool. That is really kind of cool. All right. I wonder if we dried one of the ones you did before. Like that rainbow one. Made sure it was really, really dry. And then I brought this stencil out too. And because it's rainbow, pick like one color and just do one color on top of the rainbow. You know what I'm saying? Like a layered, like a printing layered effect. You want to try it? Um, do you have like black? Yeah, there is black. You could do that and just fill the rest of it the with The thing black. is, I'm afraid the black would just take over everything. Oh, yeah. Now, if we wanted to just go over it with acrylic paint or something where you can control where it goes. We should do that. Different deal. You want to do that? You want to yeah. do it on the um, rainbow one? Yeah. I feel like that would be cool. Okay, Eileen's suggestion is um, grandma made me do it. <laughs> Yeah, these boneheads will come up with great names. Oh, for the channel? Yeah, and there's no rule that says you have to be nice just because they came to your channel either. All right, that's still wet. Go ahead and... Um, oh, I don't really like here. that. Well, that's why we're going to change it and make it look way cooler. Um, this one I like, Brittany. I like this one a lot. Did you guys see that? Just use some cheap acrylic. That's fun. Now you can dry it and layer it or do layers on other ones you've already done. Yeah, that's, I think Shauna, that's what I want to do. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, that's cool. But I think when you get the black on top of it, it's going to be different, huh? And if it's not, you do the same thing you did with the other thing. Then you want to do something different. So good it ever happened. Try! If you want to just pick up some of the excess, We'll just pick up some of the excess because we're going to go over it and you're only going to see pieces of it anyway. True. All right, here you go. Oops, sorry. And this is a Balzer Design stencils. Don't know where you can get it. Crafter's Workshop is where you get it. <laughs> Don't know where you get it. Crafter's Workshop. Well, I just looked at the packaging. What are those? Sponges? Yeah, makeup sponges. Mm -hmm. So when we put the acrylic paint Wait. out. I look better this you way. You like it that way? E. You don't? No, I like it that way. No, oh. I like it whichever way. You said E, so I was like. Oh, because I just put oh. black paint all over myself. All right. Take your makeup sponge and smush it on there. Are you going like, to hold it down? Yeah, pounce it. There you go. The girl knows what she's doing. Any idea what I did with my copy? How can we lose crap so fast around here? Oh, here it is. I don't know. Would it help if I held it for you? Or are you okay? I got it. Do you want to hold it? No, it might make, make it easy. There you go. Oh, 
Oh, now the paper towel is going to have some color. Let's hear it. I like these flower thingy leaves. Yeah, they're cool, aren't they? You have to look through all my stencils. I've got cool ones. We'll see how the carving go. Mm, not real good, Kim. We obviously need more practice, but it's okay. <laughs> we tried and we entertained you guys for an hour. So that was pretty much the goal. I might try another one later after I get off of this cough, caffeine shake that I've got going on right now. Yeah, thanks, Jill. No, I can't blame Jill. She didn't hold me down and pour it in my mouth. I wanted it because it tastes as good and I never get caffeine anymore. I have too much caffeine and sugar. And see, I never, I never have caffeine. Don't drink soda. <laughs> My band-aid's black. Was that where you cut yourself? Yeah. All right. I think she got it all, boys and girls. Here's the reveal cart. Mm. Not I, in love? I think it's because the paper kept like coming up. Yeah, not a clean stencil. Well, too, another thing, and I should have told you this. Um... Uh, Let me grab another one. Do you care if I um I do it on this one? All right. Rather than doing the whole thing, if you um like get the ink on here and pounce it off so you don't have quite so much, it's a little easier to control. And don't do the design all over, you know, just like here and there. Okie dokie. Have to practice stamp carving. It can be difficult. Yeah, it. Yeah. Judy said, woot, woot, love it. Gorgeous. They like what you're doing, Court. Can't really. I, I would do just maybe a little bit right in the center. And then pick it up and see what it looks like. Oh and then God. if we want, we can work on top of it, too. And if it turns out like crap. Go on to something else. It's not that bad. Yeah, see, I think it's better when you only do a little bit of the design here and there. Jamie, now tell us what Janet was really like when you were and your siblings were growing up. <laughs> I mean, you need to just maybe go take a nap. At your age, I'm sure you need one. Can I do on this one? Yeah, do whatever you want. They're yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's always good advice, Christy. Keep your hands behind the blade. That's excellent advice. Can I put more? Yeah, whatever you need. Thanks, girl. You're welcome, girl. Is my dad even still on the thing? He pops in and says something obnoxious here and there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh... All right. Can we do we have another one? We might have to do one more. These actually, when you cut them up, we can use them for um, collage or a whole bunch of different things. But I think we're gonna do this on with the Patty Trolley Parish. So what? With this stencil. Oh. Just turn it into like a mini journal page. Try some new magicals on the new jelly. We could do that. That might be fun. Concentration camp director. <laughs> Ignore him. Concentration camp director. That's all he said. Hi, Sher Sherian. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Macy concentration camp. 
Yeah, I know. Concentration <laughs> camp directive. That's how I should have done it. All right, just do the two corners and leave the center. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, good girl. Ooh, I actually like this one. I do too. That was a good choice to do it that way. All right, now Eileen's wanting you to, okay, before we put the ink or the paint and the stencils away, um, on this one that was your pickup print, because mm -hmm. um, I love this stencil so much. Um, well, you can do one of two things. You try the Magicals on it again or go over it with the black. Can I go over it with the black? Anything you want, I'm just telling you. Or I can go get a different stencil, but I do love that stencil a lot. I'm going to go put this... Oh. Um, OCD. Why do you call me CCD? You call me OCD, Eileen. And I only get OCD because you make me a nervous damn wreck. <laughs> Oh, CCD. Okay, because she calls me OCD all the time. You're so OCD. She hasn't even seen OCD. Did you guys want anything from town? We can get a hold of Robert before he comes home. Good. All right. An OCD CCD. Oh my God. <laughs> Catholic school mom with a wood ruler is better description. No, I had count combat boots, Jamie. Kick your ass all over the block. No, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. I, you didn't ever have to get mad at Jamie. I don't remember a time when I was mad at Jamie. I really don't. Now, Koki, his brother, a whole different story. But Jamie, I don't remember ever once being mad at Jamie. If you asked him to do something, he did it. He did it promptly, and he did it completely thoroughly every time. And normally, you didn't even have to ask Jamie. He did it before he was asked. I'm not kidding you. Here. <laughs> yeah, look at him over there. He's just going, oh, my God. But that's that's the truth. I can't sit here and lie and tell you he was a brat because he really wasn't. He is a brat. No, nah, he really wasn't. He is now. <laughs> His brother was very obnoxious, but Jamie never was. Jamie. What means you are buying an expensive dinner? That means you are buying an expensive dinner tonight. There you go, Eileen. <laughs> I'll probably make him um, cook on the grill, maybe. I don't know. We haven't decided what we're eating. Yeah, we should have brats. You want brats? Yeah. Brats on the grill it is, then. He's tearing up. He's sitting out there plotting something right now. I'm going to go in the bathroom and a firecracker will go off in the toilet or something. Tomorrow. I like it. Do you? You are a mess. Don't get that stuff on your clothes because your shirt's too pretty. I just think I'm funnier than I am. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm going to clean my hands. All right. Eileen wants us to try um, Magicals on the new gel press. So, what is he saying now, Jill? Are you encouraging him? <laughs> he's sitting over there just thinking he's the best thing. <laughs> Puffing out his chest. All right, while well, he's doing whatever she's doing, I'll get out that little jelly press and we'll try it. I'm going to try it on the um, watercolor paper again. What did I do with it? 
This place, Eileen, you would be so happy right now. This place looks like a freaking tornado went through. I'm not you. What do I do with that gel press, Court? No idea. Ah, there it is. I know you love messes. Well, it's a big one. There is not a surface in this room that doesn't have some piece of crap on it. All right, here's that little jelly plate. Do you want to do this or you want me to do it? I want you to do it. Okay. While I go get the top food. All right. I think this is. All right. I really like one thing I will say for real about this jelly plate. I love, love, love the size of it. The five by five. I love it. All right. Should I get the jelly plate wet first? I'm kind of thinking I have to, but I'm just barely going to get it wet. All right. Let's do, let's do Eileen's colors just so she'll maybe be nice to me next week. This is Chateau Rosé, I think. We'll try that. I don't know that I've ever done Magicals on a jelly plate, so what's going to go good with that? Because that's orange, so she's going to want green with that. Nope, that's Ocean Lagoon Blue or something. Teal. Where's that? Yeah, this is the really pretty green. Merce Buku Mint is this one. Now I'm going to wet it, right, Courtney? If it ruins the plate, it's her fault. You know what? I don't even care, Eileen, because I didn't pay anything for it. It's like it was free, practically. So why not just play on it and do what you want? All right, a little bit more orange, I think. Eileen's really not going to like this. But it's kind of beating up a little bit. So when I put paper on it and press it, it's going to smush out. I don't know what, yeah, I don't know what to expect. Yeah, free is good, right, Cheryl? All right. Doesn't look like there's much on there, but we're going to go for it and see. Oh, I'm going to cut this in half first. Try and keep part of it clean, right? All right, here we go. I put that over there so the part that squirted out um, didn't get my on my hands. And this is going to be different than um, acrylic because it's not going to stick. It's not like there's going to be a cleanup print, I don't think. But I should, I want to try some, um, that's kind of cool. Um, I wouldn't mind trying some acrylic on this and seeing how it works on this little plate. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Oh, I need to bring you guys down a little bit. The colors are really vibrant. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But the colors are really nice and vibrant. Hey, that's not bad. Now Courtney's on. Wow, super cool. <laughs> the acrylic inks would look good on that plate. The FWs. We could try that too because we've got about ooh, less than an hour left. You mean you have cut it without a ruler? I know, I know, Joan. That was just like... I was sneaking that by Eileen. You've done both. Look at the com comment above, Merle Girl. All right, let me go back, see if I can go. Hey, Merle Girl, I'm in the bathroom watching. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Generation ADD, there you go. All right. Yeah, that wasn't horrible. That's kind of fun. Use your, okay, now see, there is some left on here. Now, if I sprayed water, it's going to reactivate. 
but I wonder if you let that dry, if you couldn't put acrylic paint on that and have like acrylic and magicals, that would be cool. We're going to use ink on it. Let's try some of the FWs. I'm just going to grab two colors. Don't care what they are. Yellow and green's good. I don't, Shauna, did you add water when you were doing this? Oh, you need to shake these two, you guys. Um, the pigment settles. And yep, the acrylic inks. You can also use glazing medium with the magicals, white, acrylic, or any acrylic. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, I haven't really played with a lot of it. Usually Eileen's telling me what to do and she obviously isn't that creative, right? <laughs> I, I'm going to add water, a little bit of water, get it moving. All right, now I'm going to add some magicals in here. Yellow, green, and blue. Blue would be nice. Let's add a teal in here. Now this might be interesting. Now I've never done the acrylic inks with the... Magicals that I remember, which isn't saying a whole lot because my memory is so awesome. All right, that's better. All right, we're going to give it a shot of water and smush down in it and see what we get. You've seen somebody putting matte medium on the plate and then sprinkle the powders. That would be interesting too, or others matte medium is quite common. I'm back. Did you carve my potato stamp yet? I didn't, Mark. I didn't get it in time. All right, let's see what this is like. Acrylic ink and magicals together. The acrylic inks are going to be opaque. I'm just trying to think about what to expect when I pull it up. That's kind of unusual. There's too much green for sure, which Eileen should love. Now, what if we're just making a mess today? I'm going to have absolutely nothing worth using probably when I'm done, but that's okay. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. We, I'm just experimenting with acrylic inks on this little plate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one came out pretty cool, huh? We're going to lighten this up. Now we're going to put some dark blue. I'm going to have to order some more of this, too. All right, I'm going to try and get some water on the back. Because I don't like the curve. All right, now we're going to add a dark color. That's looking cool. I like the way the blue just has spread a little bit. I wish I could leave it just like that. Acrylic paint, not ink. Okay, sorry, Kathy, I'm going to have to go back and read. Eileen said you would have it done for me because I'm awesome and she thinks I rule. Well, I'm pretty sure she told me that, Mark. <laughs> you can put acrylic ink magicals and roll it out without any water and it gets all speckly. You want to try that? Acrylic ink magicals and roll it. Can you put a fish with the green one? Put a fish with it. You mean like a fish stamp or something? I almost wish I hadn't sprayed that now. That's okay. We'll just let it do whatever it's going to do. Do you think you could set that on top of that without spilling it? Set what? Set this on top over there so it can dry without spilling it. That would be awesome, girl. Cool. 
All right, we're going to do what Kathy Berg told us. Do the acrylic ink magicals and add no water. Look at, I'm going to cut paper without, this is making me nervous, I will say this. I'm going to cut the paper without a ruler or a cutting tool. Makes me nervous. Yes, it's not bad, but see if I took the ruler out and measured it now and it's not straight. Oh, that really is the sort of thing that kicks off my OCD. Let's see. She got the ruler out. Yeah, it's definitely not straight. I told you. That's all right. We're just playing, so... Um, I don't know if I want to take what's on the plate off. I kind of think I do, right? Yeah. This is just garbage paper, so I'll just use it to clean off. Can you give it No, I usually just anything that I don't mind throwing away. I get thousands of these books, so I just use them for cleanup and glue and anything else. All right, we're going to leave that on the plate and see if it comes up with the... Um, someone got a ruler out. What did I do wrong? They bugged My me. My dad said, well, someone, well, wait, someone got a ruler out. What did I do wrong? <laughs> yes, everything. Oh, my God, we might have just uncovered my fixation with rulers. <laughs> Let's see. We want a light colored acrylic ink so we can put magicals on top of it and we'll get the brayer out. Oh crap, where's the brayer? Oh man, I didn't move it when I reorganized. I was about ready to get really nervous. Because <laughs> I reorganized and moved things and I haven't been able to find anything since. All right, where's some cool. Do you like shimmery? You're talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Do you want to try some gold shimmery? Sure. Yeah, this is gold limit, which is going to be a shimmery color. Hey, What's not this one? Ink. Pay attention to Kathy Jarrett. Okay, I have two of these. Let's try that. Sorry. Oh, she said acrylic paint, not ink. Okay, all right. Um. The acrylic paint is in the other room. I can go get it for you. Okay, in that bottom drawer in the chest in your room is a great big thing. Get the cheap stuff, not the heavy body. Okay. And just pick out whatever colors you want me to use. Now, these bottles just came out of here, so how can they not go back? Yeah. All right, she's gone to get some acrylic paint. This can go in the garbage. See, that's what I thought too, Monique, that the acrylic inks would be too fine to brayer. Um, but whatever. Hey, Colleen. Actually, get the heavy body white if you have it. The magicals kind of float in it. Um, okay. In that same drawer, there's, a, I think, a tube of white. Of the paint? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's heavy body. Bring that. Okay. Look at, I let Courtney pick out the colors. She brought, um, that's funny. She let, obviously like pastel colors. She brought creamy peach, cameo pink, lime green. Yeah, that's the one. Lavender and pale blue. Thank you for getting that for me. Let's do the white first. Then. All right. Have you ever played with a jelly print? Do you want to do this? Sure. You're going to love it. Okay. We're going to switch seats. Court's going to come over and do this. And if you like it, if you enjoy doing this, I'll let you take this home, okay? What? If you enjoy doing the jelly print. 
oh, playing with this thing. I'll let you take that one home because I've got a five by seven one. Oh, I just got fine. this one cheap the last week and it's different than the one I have. So we had to try it because it was cheap. No money. Okay. All right. And we need some paper for you to roll off the brayer. So what do I do? Just go ahead and put just a tiny little bit, hun. Just a little blob of the white paint. More? For that size plate, that might be enough. I'll add a little bit more. All right. Yeah, you're just going to have to experiment until you know, because I've never done it on this plate either. Okay, take the brayer and brayer that out flat. Do I use this side or this? Um, this side. Right. Yeah. Like the whole, fill the whole thing? Yeah, if you want, and then we're going to put magicals on top of it. Yeah, see, that was more than enough paint. That's a little, and then you can wipe it off on that. Pick your um, poison colors and mm -hmm. smash them on there, or just sprinkle them on there. And then she's saying sprinkle and then bray her again. Okay. So try it both ways. Okay. Is that enough? Yeah. Should I put blue on it or no? Whatever you want. It's not like you can ruin anything. It's true. It's and hard. if you do, we don't care. Okay. Now what do I do? Now go ahead and use that. That's called a brayer. Just brayer it again. See what happens with the... Hmm. All right, now you're going to need some paper to suck it up. Ooh, it's actually kind of pretty. Yeah. Just go ahead and, um, this is just copy paper. Just use oh. one corner. We'll get it later, hon. Don't worry about it. One corner? Yeah, just do the one corner because I didn't cut that without a ruler. What do, I, do I just smooth it out? Yeah, Colleen, this is the speedball jelly plate. And this is my granddaughter who's doing it and that thing on her hand is not really a tattoo she drew that should I just take it off yeah just rub it real good and then yank that off see how it comes out and then Kathy Ooh. will tell us if we did it wrong the green came with it I thought it would that actually is pretty don't you think yeah do you like it yeah I do the green that's on there is actually the watercolor that was there before. Kathy said the thing on your hand would actually be a really pretty tattoo. She's too young to be talking about tattoos, okay? That's for sure. Where do you want me to put this? Um, we're just going to set it here because we'll probably do one on this end. Okay, go ahead and don't clean that off now. More paint? Um, whatever, yeah, whatever you want. Oh, that was yeah, I like that. That much. actually reminds me of some famous painting. Um, oh, that's a lot of paint. Yeah. Girl. That's all right. Sorry. No worries. Do I feel like a painter? Like a wall painter? And if you want to remove some of it, just get the paint on the brayer, put it off here, and then, yeah, and then pick up some more. Oops. What color okay. should we do now? Um, Light or dark? I would maybe do like green and blue. I think green and blue with the white will look really pretty. After this one, put a dab of paint, then the magicals, then the brayer. So you, you're saying don't brayer the paint out first. Just a dab of paint, then the magicals, then the brayer, and see what you get. Okay, I see what you're saying. I'm wondering, okay. All right, go ahead and do what you can do, kiddo. Ooh, it's like a turquoise kind of. All right, and another cool thing is when you're using the jelly plate, hun, um, go ahead and, and let's pick that one up. And then on the next one, we'll go ahead and, and try a, um, 
see if I have a cool stencil that will work. Oh, this one's a great stencil for something like that. The rose one might look really pretty too. The leaf one's good. All right, we got some stuff to play with. Now. I'm still gonna be cleaning up at nine o'clock tonight, Eileen. Ooh, I didn't this. see that. Um, what was it, Nick Lenz or whatever his name is? See, those are cool, aren't they? Uh huh. I right, leave what's on your plate. Okay, so just put um, the thing on and then put the No, color. I'm thinking. Oh, my arm's stuck. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just thinking right now. If we went ahead with a different color, like just uh, a light coat, or do we want to do black? Thinking, thinking, thinking. That was that one. That one's really pretty. I like the blue and the green. All right, let's see if we're getting any free advice from the peanut gallery. To slightly dissolve them, make them soupy. Yeah, I was wondering about just spraying it lightly with um, the mini mister rather than the um, spray bottle. The wire walking was amazing. I wish I'd known. I had I wasn't on Twitter, so I didn't know that it was on. Um, I got that in Australia. It has a little Australia flag on it. Um, yeah, I would have actually watched that, Eileen. All right, I'm just thinking, 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 thinking. All right, here we go. We've got this. Oops. I asked you if you would, <laughs> you could do it without spilling, and then look at what I did. Jesus. Sorry. It's all good. Not your, not your bad. My bad. All right, I'm just thinking, using this dark background, putting the stencil down, and picking up with this. But I'm wondering if we should do a cleanup print first. And if you want to get really fancy, okay, Shauna's telling us how we're going to get all fancy schmancy. I know, but I never got on... Um, Twitter yesterday because we had water in the basement. So we were vacuuming water and having fun on the kids' vacation. Um, just thinking, because if we did that, it's only going to pick up that. All right. I think let's do, do a really, really, let's do a really quick pickup print with the colors that are on there because they're so pretty. And black does a really good pickup print, but you want a real thin layer of paint. So try and smoosh that around. So far, you guys, I think this is working exactly like the um, jelly print plate. No difference. So if you see one at Hobby Lobby, as far as I'm concerned, it behaves the exact same way. All right. Um. Go ahead. Now, on this one, you just got to rub, 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 just until all that background stuff that's on there picks up. Oh, you got one of those, too? Kathy, you must have gotten home. Um, oh, do a thin metallic acrylic on the bottom to get a clean up crusty bit shimmer. Um, yeah, we didn't get any uh, any metallic paints. I don't even know if I have any metallic acrylics, honestly. You are home. Okay, I finally read your answer. You're gonna think this is way cool. Clean up prints are the best. Yeah, they're just so cool. Aren't they cool? Yeah, that one came out way cool. I love that. And you did, didn't did put a huge amount of black, so it didn't overpower it. That's way cool. All right, you got enough on there, actually, to do another cleanup print. I like these light-colored ones you did a lot. All right, we're going to go ahead. I'm thinking... Thinking, thinking, thinking. I want to do something on top of this and put a um, a stencil on it. 
what color would I want that? To make it really subtle. Um, okay, let's do the lime green. Hopefully it'll show up. All right, let's do a little bit of lime green. You can make it lighter if you put white in it. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm gonna I'm gonna have you pick it up with this one. Okay. So um I'm gonna put it on kind of thick. Go ahead and smush that all out. And we're not gonna put magicals on this time. We're just gonna put a stencil and do the cleanup print. Um Ooh, it's mixing with the black. Yeah, that's not gonna be pretty. All right, we're just gonna clean that one up because that's not gonna be pretty at all. Just smush that up. Rub, 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 rub. Mm, needed to let it dry a little bit more, I think. All right. Dorothy, here's some of the rock. Oh, apparently, okay, you can see it online. That's cool. Well, I'll have to look it up later. What walk? Um, there's a trapeze artist named um, Nick Walenza, right? Eileen is his name. Now that paper just tore, so we're going to have to use a better paper, I think. Um, and he did a um, high wire act last night over New York City, wasn't it, Eileen? And I forgot that it was on. Um but Eileen watched it. She said it was really good. Yeah, she said it was over Times Square. So, yeah, it'll be fun to go look at that online. All right, that's going to be a butt ugly cleanup print, girl. It really is, but we probably need to clean it up. So add whatever colors you want to it. Maybe add white paint. Grayer it out, add some magic colors, and see if we can hopefully save that. If not, we'll just have to clean the plate and start over. It was on ABC, so I'm sure you can see it again. Yeah, I think I think so too, Eileen. I'm not going to go to their ABC pre pay channel though. I don't like ABC that much. All right, now smush out some more magic colors on it. And if it picks up behind it, that'll be fine. We're not going to use this one yet, though. I need to probably get out just some more copy paper. Yes. Has anybody heard from um, Debbie Epps? Because... I thought Debbie was going to be streaming in Jean Spot, but I haven't seen Debbie today. So I don't know if if she's still planning on it or not. And I haven't seen her come in here. Oh, okay, she is or was here. Hi Debbie, in case you're here. Um, but normally after me um, is Jean's regular time slot, but since Jean's taking a break, I think Debbie intends to stream for Jean. Okay, Eileen just said, Debbie may stream tonight. So that implies later than four o'clock Eastern. <clears throat> You've got that camera down pretty close, don't you? Let me pull it up a little bit. And if it's a little hard to pull off, that's a good thing. Because that means it's pulling up all the junk with it. That one's not horrible. That would be usable. The thing about this smaller plate, though, is I think it's going to make the pages harder to use. Like the larger plate, if you end up with an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet, it's more usable. But this, these would be great ATC backgrounds for sure. It is nice, right? You still got some cleanup to get off there. All right, I we're just going to move on. I know. 
this is your first time. Like, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. All right, let's try, do a pink background or a peach, either one, because that would look good with that in the background. You did get rid of most of that black, which is a good thing. Oh. You got to shake it. They're great to use with die cuts. Oh, okay, now that's a good idea, Eileen. I hadn't really thought about that. It's so super watery. Hmm. Yeah, it probably just needs a good shake. If you want to lift that up, go ahead and lift it up. Um, overlap the print color blocking. Yeah, you could do that. I just don't know how well that would really work. Um, on my screen, that looks really kind of muddy and icky. I don't know if it is, but if you want to add some more magicals, add that really dark, dark pink to that. This is Queen of Hearts. Let's try it. All right, another thing we're going to do. Now we're just making a mess. Mm -hmm. It's either going to come out really cool or really sucky. All right, that's enough. Let's see. Oh, I, where's my mini mister? Do I have one? I have one right here. And it's got water in it. Yay me. All right, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This time we're going to sprinkle it down, but we're not going to smush it. We're just going to leave the, the speckles. All right, now, print away, girly. And just rub, rub, rub. Maybe it'll get some of that older stuff off. Can you give me my chopstick? You have another one out in the breezeway, you know. I do? Yeah. I didn't know if you remembered that you left like? it out. The one you dropped in your pop can yesterday. You know that one was out there. Yeah, you and me both, Eileen. We didn't have computers in school. We had, like, old manual typewriters, not even electric. Mm -mm. Oh, it well. Peeled off it some, of the paper. some of the paper. Oh, well. Live and learn, girl. It's okay. Oh, I think it was kind of pretty. Yeah, I think it would have looked really cool. No big deal. Maybe I should have used um, cardstock. Okay. Let's clean that off. All right, there we go. All right, what do you want to do with it now? I wouldn't add black. Anything you add now, because that is wet, it's got to be a color that's going to mix well with it. Maybe purple? Or just white? Well, if you add the white and brayer it, it's just going to turn into one solid color. So that's why I'm thinking it might be better just to go ahead and... Um, Clean it off. All right, let's try that. We got plenty of copy paper out, so let's just do that. Just go ahead and clean that off the way it is, like that. Oh, and it's not focusing. Focus, you freak. We had inkwells in our desks. Well, I didn't have inkwells in my desk. Um, if you bray light with the paint, it should turn out speckly. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking is that when you're um, brayering, you don't want to go over it too many times. Um, okay, you got some of the liquid up. That'd be cool. Now see if that, if that, oops, God, we got no room here. All right, now that that's dry, just thinking... Um, because that pink you said it was really runny mm -hmm. yeah so we're not going to use that um, I wonder if the creamy peaches because that would look pretty with that
this sounds like it's going to be really runny. Mm -hmm. Nope, it's going to be okay. All right, smush that around and hopefully those magicals won't move. They are. It's all right. Just don't bray her a whole lot. Just try and get that spread as quick as you can easily. There you go. Oh, that's actually really pretty. Yeah, I think it's going to come out okay. And go ahead and bray her or rub it off while it's still pretty wet. And you might get a really good print there. <clears throat> Hopefully the paper won't tear this time. Now that may be one difference. I've never had the paper really tear on my regular jelly print. But this one looks like it came out good. Did it come out good? Kind of. All right. That one could be a good one. Um, like this is good. Besides that. Let's try. All right. If I do that. And then we put the stencil down. You're going to get green leaves. That's what I want. Okay. Let me shake this up for you. Yeah, I like that too. Vintage. Yeah, there's something nice about it. It, it would be a great background for a lot of different things. So, all right, this one we're going to try. We're going to put green on top and hopefully it won't move that pink underneath. This could come out really pretty or really gross. <laughs> What did I do with that leaf stencil that I... Oh, here it is. Yeah, it's moving. It's moving. Oh, well. That's all right. Just smush it around. We'll just get what we get. And we don't throw a fit. Okay. Now, that's a nice size for my small stencils. I have to say that. Um, and what I was thinking, I'm going to go ahead and, um, I put those scissors back over there. We're going to go ahead and print right on top of this one you just printed and see if we can get those green leaves on top of the pink. Okay. That could be really pretty. And this is dry enough. So now you can just, just try it and see what happens. And like you have to rub the so the yeah. leaves come through the stencils. Okay, Eileen's talking about um, Debbie streaming. If she does, it'll be later on tonight. So I probably won't be there. Really? That's just weird. It didn't work at all, did it? I think it needs like more paint. You think so? All yeah. right, put more paint on it and give it a go. Where's the? Because it like didn't really show up. Yeah. And it's not like you're not working fast. I mean, it seems to me like you're working fast. All right. Another thing that we could try is where is that really really pretty green? Here we go. Don't don't bray it this time though. Okay. We're just gonna use the speckles. Now put that on and rub. This? Yeah. Before it dries. Because I think that's what happened is it just The stencils are on it. Oh we didn't put the stencil on. Shit. Um oh well, live and learn. Yeah, Sean is going stencil edge. That's all right. Let's see what we get because we can always go back. Or start from scratch, whatever. Bye, Debbie. We'll catch you later. Courtney, when are you making my lunch? I'm hungry. You can finish this. I'll actually make her lunch. She's going to go make her dad lunch. All right. I'm going to play with this for a minute or two, and then we'll call it a day. There's lunch meat.
Oh my God. If you saw this mess, I should take a picture before I finish cleaning up. I'm not kidding. This is insane. Yeah, that was but ugly. All right, I'm going to just do a real quick cleanup print with some white heavy body that I know should clean up pretty good. What? All right, Jill just volunteered to clean up for me. This little plate is not bad. I would say if you want a smaller one, go check your Hobby Lobby and see if you can't get um, one of these speedball ones because they're just not bad at all. All right, where's the copy paper? Oh, literally, we're a pain in the butt. Who's a pain in the butt? My Your dad? Father. I could have told you that. Do you want an egg sandwich? All right. I'm going to try and clean this plate up before I have to get out the hand sanitizer and clean it all up. I can't see a whole hell of a lot of difference between this and the regular jelly, you guys. You glad you picked one up? Yeah. Yeah, the price on this was just too good to believe. And I don't know. I think it was, I don't remember who told me. Maybe it was, it wasn't Amy. Maybe it was Amy. Anyway, somebody said they went online and they had some deals online. Now, I don't know if that means you're going to get the 70% off deal. Yeah, that's not a bad cleanup print right there. Got just a little no. bit of paper. What oh, pants? don't tear my paper. Girl, what, hon? Where are your pants to make eggs? You're going to make eggs? She wants an egg sandwich. So. Um, right down Here. there. Okay. Yep. Lean over and toward the back will be a frying pan. Yeah, that one didn't come out bad. That cleanup print, that's very usable. I can use that for sure. All right. And I say, I don't know how you can miss it if you're looking. All right. I can use this one, right? Sure. Where's your spray? Down there with the pans. There's both butter and olive oil, whichever one you want. You want anything, George? No, I'm good, hon. We're going to probably do dinner here in not too very long, so. Where are your eggs? In the fridge. You might have to call your dad for help with the whole fridge management thing because we got a problem going on there. It is overflowing. The fridge is overflowing. Can I have yogurt? Yeah, honey, I bought them for you. Yeah. It's brand new. All right. I'm going to try to just spread that. I like this just a hair damp, so I'm going to go ahead and spray this. And I'm only going to go over it one time. Yeah, you definitely get like a freckly look with that. All right, keep your fingers crossed that we get something cool out of this. At the rate we're going, there will be not one square inch of this house that isn't already trashed out. The blue needs brown. We'll add brown in the next layer, Shauna. Yeah, I like this one. 
Of course, it's my colors, man. Maybe I need... Yeah, that's a nice cleanup. This one's really pretty. This one I think would be very usable. Now, the thing I don't know is if that powder is not fully dissolved, it's going to go ahead and spread if I put something wet on top of it. Um, so I'm just thinking, I think I just got paint on my face. <laughs> Give Courtney a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Oh, when, when you're streaming, um, there's a thumbs up option if you like something. Mm -hmm. And if you get a lot of thumbs up on your videos, um, YouTube is more likely to recommend them to people um, who are looking for channels, you know? Oh, that makes sense. All right, what do I want to do? But yeah, that one I don't mind at all. Oh, where did I get that paint? It must be on the edge. <laughs> Can't remember if you tried. Missed it and see what happens. Yeah, might as well, huh? I'll use the mini mister. I'll do it on the plate and on the paper, and we'll just see if it reactivates. Because I don't know. It's a darn good question that you might want to know. Yep. The powder on the plate is still um, activating, and I think I'm not going to put um, water on the paper. I'm just going to use the same print on there. Okay. Because the, the acrylic is pretty dry. So, um, let me cut this out while that dries up a little bit. So I get it, you know, roughly same position. Yeah. Actually, is the plastic one up there? No. Because that pan you're using is non-stick and it doesn't like metal on it. So look in the dishwasher and see if the, it's in there. Found it. That's the one you got to use then. Yeah, we're going to see. How cool it looks. It's really fun to play this way. I mean, I'm I'm having fun playing. Now, if I've learned anything, who knows? But it's fun playing. Oh, yeah, this is cool. This is cool. I like this. Look at that. This is my favorite from the whole day, you guys. Can you see that, Court? That looks super cool. Yeah, this one came out way cool. That's my colors. Yeah, this is perfect. And there's still a little bit left. So I think um, I'm going to add some more of that lime green and maybe a little bit of the light blue with it. Um, oh, that's too much paint for this little plate, you guys. In fact, I'm going to brayer some of it off because that's just nonsense to go in knowing that you've already screwed up. Because these little plates really, like a drop of paint is more than what you need. All right. Let's add some blue on there. All right. This time I'm going to add the really pretty green. Or Caribbean blue would work too, but I think I'm going to do that. Um, Merci beaucoup. I'm trying to do the same thing. Um, and see if we can get a green, a cool green version of that. All right, we're going to give it a go and see. Oh, my God, I'm getting paint everywhere, everywhere. 
I have done it before. It depends on how much powder you pull up. Yeah. How much is left that's not activated? Yeah, exactly. That makes sense. But after the acrylic dries, you can go ahead and um, magical on top of it, too. Um, the only thing is, it's not going to be absorbent. That one didn't come out so nice, but we're not done with it yet. That blue didn't get spread out thin enough. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of white and try and get um, a good cleanup print with a white background. Oops. Ah, uh, that tube pukes out too much paint. Too much. The brayer looks really cool right now. That smells really good, Courtney. All right, I hope this cleans up really good. Do I want to add any magicals to it at this point, you guys? Because right now it's going to be kind of just a solid color background. All right, we're going to do that purple that scares the hell out of me. Okay, this is going to be crazy. And um, I'm going to say the camera's straight. Excuse me, but the plate's crooked. All right, we're using this crazy, crazy purple. And this one, I don't know where CB is, but do not get carried away because everything in your house will be this color purple. It's crazy purple. All right, here we go. I'm going to mist it a little bit. Maybe I didn't do enough. Probably being too careful, right? Oops, that's enough. <laughs> Where is CB today? I don't know. When did I see CB last? She tweeted, I think, something this morning or yesterday. But, yeah, I haven't seen CB. But I wasn't around much over the weekend, I admit. All right, I'm not going to do it on top of that one because it's but ugly. Her teacher is staying with her. Okay, well, that explains CB's absence. Probably her Ikebana teacher, right? There's enough paint on here that my paper just smushed. I don't know how this is going to turn out. All right, and I'm almost at my 3 o'clock, so this may be the last one. Oh, this came out very cool looking. If it, that blob isn't annoying. That came out really cool. The paint is still really wet. That purple against that nice blue background is really pretty. Do you have suggestions on how to use Magicals without the shakers? Um, and when I used to do it, um, and you had the little pots... I used a, a stiff fan brush to just dip in and then flick it around where I wanted it. This was probably the best option I found. Um, now, if you're Dee Dee, you use a chopstick. <laughs> but I thought this was um, one way that you could control it because it is hard to control. Um, so if you can find, I got this, I don't know where. This was so cheap. It might have been at um, the Dollar Tree, but it's very stiff. So just get yourself a stiff brush that you can flick it. That would probably be my best recommendation. Or those, um, those little tiny baby spoons that you can get off of. I think it's the Wish app. I'm not sure. 
Um, Ashley sent me mine. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do a cleanup and we're going to call it a day. So let me get only I wanted to work on that one green one. Oh, well, I might do that off camera and then just take a picture later. Um, just thinking, thinking, thinking. I think I'm going to add some more blue to the purple and then try and do a cleanup print. I'm going to add the dark blue, though. And then what do I do? Do I want to do a real light layer of white? Yeah, let's do a light layer of white and see if we can do a cleanup. Of course, this isn't dry yet, so I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Because if you want to do a, a cleanup print, it's better if the material on your plate is completely dry. You can get the tubes and a holder for a total of $10 on Amazon. Well, there you go. Shauna just gave you great information. Yeah, I don't have in my shakers and my holder. I'm, I don't even have $10 invested in that. I mean, I'm not caught kidding. It was dirt. Oh, man. Look at the paint wasn't coming out. Now I have a mess. Oh, God, I hate that. All right. Top off. <laughs> Clean up the mess. Ah, uh, that's not going to work. All right. Here. Really don't want to get something else dirty, but I may not have a choice. There we go. We're just going to use this as our brayer. All right, keep your fingers crossed that I don't move this stuff too much. Come on. Don't move too much. All right, here we go. Come on, dry a little bit. All right, rub, 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 rub now. God, we did everything today. We carved stamps. We played with magicals. We jelly printed. Do you think we could have crammed anything else in there? CB, we were just talking about you, wondering where you were. Where's Sweet Robert when she needs him? Sweet Robert went into town to get the title for the car and return a lawnmower part for the neighbor. Yeah, that needs some serious cleanup there. All right, hopefully this is going to be a good cleanup print. It was lots of fun, right? Courtney maybe had some fun. Uh, I think Robert's just pulling in. I think I hear his car. Come on, paper. Do I have a link? What do you need a link for? And the um, the holders. I've got paint everywhere now. Um, and the little shaker things. Shauna probably would be the best help for that. Okay, this one's going to be cool. Yep. There's Sweet Robert pulling in. This is a really good, ah, oh, tore the paper a little bit. I'm going to say this is a really good cleanup print. Look at, everything's wet. Ugh. Yeah, that would have been really good. But I don't even mind the bald spots there. That's going to be useful. All right, everybody's saying thanks, Court, for playing with them today. She said, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
All right, I'm going to let that dry real good, and then I'm going to try one more cleanup print after off camera. So our three hours is up. Um, thanks for coming and hanging out with me and Courtney today and listening to Jamie in chat. Be a goofball. Thank you, Vaughn. Hope you got a lot of work done. Thanks, everybody, so much for coming. CB's been arranging flowers. Yep, it was fun. Now I got a big mess to clean up, so Eileen should be happy. She's going to go take a nap, and I'm going to spend the rest of the day cleaning. So, appreciate you guys. We'll catch you later. I have to leave, CB. I've just used up my three hours, and I carved the ugliest stamp in the history of stamp carving. Well, Courtney's going to say it was her elephant, but thank you, Scooby. Thanks for coming, you guys. She's chewing in my ear. You know what that will get? That will get you killed, dead, graveyard dead, thrown in the lake. <laughs> See you guys later.